Welcome everyone to the Barhead and District Forum interviews for the 2021 municipal elections. The Barhead Chamber of Commerce, Barhead Leader, and Barhead Public Library thanks you for your time today. With us today is Melissa Hanna, candidate for the Pepina Hills School Trustee position in Ward 2, which encompasses Fort Assiniboine and Swan Hills area. Before we get started, can you introduce yourself and tell us a little about why you're seeking election? My name is Melissa Hanna. I put my nomination to run for the school board trustee for the Pembinas Hills West Ward 2 because I believe we need a voice. Uh, historically, Hiswan Hills has always had trustee representation and I believe it is very, very, very important to keep rep representation in town. At the start of the school year, Pemina Hills Board decided not to require masks in schools. Masking was then imposed by the province a week later. Were you in favor of the Pemina Hills decision, yes or no, and why or why not? Yes, I was in favor of no masks. Um, after going all summer with no masks and the high anxiety of the children from last year, I believed it was a good way to ease them into the school this year. Unfortunately, about a week of them being in school, I think everyone changed their minds. It became more popular in children at that time, where before the summer it wasn't, the COVID. Pembina Hills continues to face many chances and changes, including the loss of ADLC, rapid growth in some schools due to relaxed boundaries and declining enrollment in others, supports for homeschoolers, Vista Virtual, etc. What do you see as the top three priorities the school division needs to focus on in the next four years? I've kind of been struggling on this question to come up with all three, because right now I believe with what is happening with the ADLC, I, I believe it should be our main priority. I don't believe anything should be put on the back burner, but I believe that we need to figure out what to do with the faculty, the staff, all the programs that have been running through them and incorporate them into the new systems or however we are going to adjust. What could schools do to help engage youth with our local business community? In this question, I believe that it's not just the schools that are responsible for this. I believe the communities and businesses need to put a little more action forward, maybe give them more opportunity to volunteer, more work experience more roles of becoming an adult to get them into the economy more. Is there one point you would like to make that hasn't already been discussed? At this time, I think I just need more experience in the trustee board position to know too much more. Thank you again for participating in this format. Before letting you go, do you have any closing remarks? Thank you for allowing me to be here today. Don't forget to vote October 18th. I would like to end with a quote. Our education system must simultaneously prepare the citizens of tomorrow while equipping our students with the knowledge and skills they need to be successful in a rapidly changing economy and society. Thank you.